thought there was a couple times on our flight when I thought we were going to end up on a TV show. Turbulence? Yeah, bro. Yeah. I mean, I I don't have much to base it off of. So the turbulence just came out of nowhere? It seemed a little aggressive at points. Did it? I, th- I thought so. But what are you going to do? I thought I you know. said... When you're in the air, it's not in my hands anymore. Yeah, He's got to right. deal with it. You're right, but that <laughs> you start <laughs> theology becomes a big part of your life right. when you start hitting some turbulence. I uh, and I, I I would watch us go through the clouds. That's when it usually yeah, that was your hard. mistake right there. Yeah, yeah, I don't look s- out the window. Yeah, you can see kind of see where it's going to be. I can see the the wings fucking <laughs> flapping. Yeah, I was like oh god, you're up there, man. Yeah. I was it's, just watching the map the whole time on the back of the headrest. Yeah. But then we were like fucking 40,000 feet in the air, and I'd look down like, oh my gosh. Follow the flight map, you're going 500 miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I liked watching the flight map too. This go, do all, every Does every plane have TVs like that? No. No. Well, I liked it. Just some, yeah. I wasn't expecting it necessarily, but I forgot. Took me forever to figure out how to work the TV. There's a remote on the- Yeah, I didn't know. Like I didn't I was I, I don't like touch screen. I don't like the remote on top of the armrest. Yeah. No. Cause Cause I kept hitting the person it. next yeah. to Dana turned her TV off because she put her arm yeah. down. I kept changing the channel and stuff. I didn't I didn't really watch it though. I would turn like sports on. Yeah. And then watch something on my phone. So that's how I roll. The entire uh way down there. I didn't realize the armrest came up. Yeah. Yeah, it's a game changer. Yes, it is. Especially if you're sharing, if you know the person next to you and you don't mind being close. Shaman didn't have anyone next to him. He could have had a love Yeah, seat, like, man. exactly. Like, and then on our way back, the first thing that the chick uh, uh, across the aisle from me was put hers up. I'm like, what the? F- you can put that one up? I feel like a good flight attendant would have saw you struggling right there. It <laughs> like, I, like, yeah. like that was one of the first things I checked. I was like pulling on. I'm like, okay, th- this one goes up, but this one doesn't. And yeah, all the head ones go up. Yeah, oh, I didn't a lot know of that. a lot of sickos on the plane too. Bra. Oh my god. And then uh, out in public in general, even since we've been back, Ugh. a lot of people hacking. When we were on the one bus, r- the shuttle that we took while we were down there. The chick next to me sneezed seven times. <laughs> bro, I was counting, and I'm like, bro, cover your mouth. I said, there was a lot of foreign people on the resort, and a lot of the foreign people. Well, I mean, we were foreign sick. people. No, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. But yeah, non Americans. <laughs> well, that's uh, your American. And not that's your Mexicans. American. Uh, not me- like, like yeah. people from maybe Europe or something. I don't know. Yeah. A lot of Canadians, French Canadians. Yeah. They were sick. And. Uh, yeah. His, they just their manners. It doesn't seem like they don't cover their mouths. Like, yeah, like one, we're in the pool and you're fucking just like snot running down your nose. And shit. Like, wipe that off. Try to get it out of the pool or something. I mean, there's so much in that pool. Yeah, yeah. at that point, I don't know. That doesn't bother me. If there's a pool bar, it's filled with pee. <laughs> like, you just gotta assume. Yeah. Yeah. Never thought of it that way. My skin feels nice though. Yeah. yeah. So the pee, the pee must help. I think it built my immune system up a little bit. I think I got sun poisoning. I got a spot on me that hasn't gone away. <laughs> Don't know what that means. Well, probably that tarantula. Yeah. Bro, that tarantula just came out of nowhere. What? Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Welcome to the Extra Medium Show. And welcome back to another episode of the Extra Medium Show. I am Corey. I'm Alex. <laughs> Shaman. <laughs> Como esta? Gracias. Bien. Gracias. Nah, no, you learned nothing. <laughs> We're back. We, from uh, We took a trip, a show survived. trip with our wives and some friends. Mark came. You guys know Mark. Yep. And uh, we went to Mexico. 
Yeah. It was uh it was interesting to it say the least. Loved it. It was fun. <laughs> I'd move to Mexico. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know either. You lose certain securities. You do. When you leave. You do. Certain comforts. Yeah. But the weather was great. Oh. Uh, yeah. Which it wasn't supposed to be. Right. I was surprised every day was great. And then we get to come back to thirty five degree weather. Oh yeah. Love it. Seasonal depression. <laughs> but um we are a show about movies and tv so what did you guys watch on the plane because i know that's a big part of traveling for me as i watch new things and uh yeah what'd you watch so started a show that i mentioned previously 1899 i did as well uh i watched the first episode on the way there and then i binged the rest of the season the day we got back <laughs> in one day in one day it was a long day but i didn't want to waste my last saturday from vacation yeah so yeah uh so you've seen three episodes yes have you watched it at all uh whatever you know parts that i looked over at Corey's shoulder oh well, yeah um, that doesn't count but it's, it's not what i thought it was gonna be i was expecting it to be a straight up year 1899 story yeah. But it's like, they have like, it's like a ghost story, kind of? No. It seems kind of ghostly, though. I'm not going to talk much about it because there's a lot that I can give away that yeah. would ruin yeah. the experience okay. for you. Um, I wouldn't think of it as a ghost story, though. Okay. There's weird technology. Yeah. Is it like steampunky-ish? It, it, it has to do a lot with alchemy. Oh, okay. It's very dark. There's almost a... A lot uh, of symbolism in it. Yeah, yeah. And then there's, like, very distinct... So, it's like... Uh, I I can't think of other movies really like it, but it's a definite, like, genre. It's like Clue, the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where people get... They don't know each other necessarily, right. but they get brought in and they're all... It's everything's connected. They all have secrets. Basically, yes. Yeah, yeah so... They might not be connected with each other, but for the most part, they have a dark secret. Yeah. And they're basically... The the boat's going from Europe to America, so they're running. Supposed to be. Supposed to be. But it's good. For watching the whole thing, it's, it's definitely one of those shows you have to watch. Like, watch. You can't just have it on in the background. All right. You know what I mean? Um... Huge twist at the end, huge twist. It's good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish. The aesthetic it. is really cool. I'll finish opinion. it before the, we record the next episode. How about that? There I'll you binge go. Because I tried to get my wife into it, and I don't think she is. So I can just. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's it's. Uh, I can see it. Hmm. I watched that, um, and then. We watched, uh, we had one of those headphone splitters, so we watched stuff together. Hmm. Uh, we just watched Mr. and Mrs. Smith on the plane. She and Dana has never seen it. Did she like it? Yeah, she said it's not exactly what she thought it was going to be, but. What was she expecting? More just like spy versus spy type deal. Not so much on their like marriage, I guess. Huh. I think. But she liked it. Have you seen it? Yeah. It's a good movie. Hmm. Prime uh, Brad Pitt. If you and say Angelina so. Jolie. Yeah. Um, sharing on a plane is an interesting choice. Yeah. You do have like the biggest iPad I've ever seen, though. <laughs> I do. So I do. his <laughs> iPad is bigger than my laptop. Yeah, yeah he it, asked I me to hold like it. Tw- like, Twenty-inch iPad or something. It's, it's heavy. Cool. I think it's meant for like designing. I got it for the screen for music stuff. All that okay, all that music stuff you do. Yeah, I like to think I do it, but it just sits there. I buy what I need, and then I don't. Let's do it. be real, what it gets used for? No. <laughs> How no? you gonna hold it? They make stands for it. Yeah, that's what your stomach is for. <laughs> <laughs> gross. That's the grossest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> no. <laughs> but that's all I watch. Um, I watched that. I watched um, a documentary called The Toys That Made Us. And the one I watched was 
the Ninja Turtles episode. It was really good. Just Ninja Turtle toys are cool because they have so many different things, accessories and things you can buy. Yeah, they kind of um, kind of cash grabbed with some of the stuff, but um, started out as a comic Do you think book. there's an episode about G.I. Joes? Pro- I would imagine there has to be. I like G.I. Joes. And then um, I watched a movie um, with B.J. Novak. Okay. Um, it's called Is it the new Vengeance. One? He has a podcast. Yep. Or he's trying and, to have a podcast. And they're like, there's a murder. Well, yeah, there, someone, a family contacts him that a girl overdosed and they think that they were like boyfriend and girlfriend. He didn't even really know her that yeah. well. They hung out like once, but she had like pictures of him up and stuff. It was weird. Oh. And then he goes down. To like ba- kind of make fun of them and like make a podcast of how like because they think that uh she was murdered mm-hmm. and he's like there's no evidence to show she was murdered so he was like how did she die well like, i'm not gonna you oh, can't give it away okay. that's the thing because well, i mean like was she shot no it was overdose oh overdose okay yeah yeah he goes down to like basically like a statement on america to say like people can't just accept things right. and they have to like sensationalize everything and make it i don't know if that's the right word but um like that there's a conspiracy behind everything and they need it and, like but then it turns weird stuff goes awry yeah it's pretty good did he write it yes he's a good writer yeah and he's he's in it yeah. is he is it funny oh uh, yeah there's certain funny parts for sure okay i'd recommend Okay. Shaman, what'd you watch? Um, I watched the movie Day Shift with uh Jamie Foxx, I think. Yeah, with the vampires. Yeah. I mean it was alright. It was a Netflix movie. Something I hadn't seen, so I downloaded it for the flight. Um I mean I'd recommend it. It was pretty good. Um I feel like a f I don't know. Jamie it, I feel like some of those uh Netflix movies they just churn stuff oh, out. Oh yeah. Just Yo. But what's the point of what? Like making that making bad movies. Well, they, uh, they do it like so it. Like they said. have new content because they're losing True. a lot of True. you know the licensing. So yeah. they're putting out all these Netflix movie Dude, shows. It. So they have new, co- you know, yeah, stuff True. on. I have almost every streaming app, and it's so annoying because I'm paying the same amount for cable like, yeah. as I would for cable. Like I understand there can't be a monopoly. Of it, but fuck, mm-hmm. it's ridiculous. This is why, yeah, you share. Yeah, I mean, don't uh, look into those, please. Yeah. Um, yeah. then I went to watch uh the the Witcher the show. Yeah, forgot it was rated R. Oh yeah. Uh, so I only watched one episode of it. He's just not going to be the Witcher anymore either. Yeah, that too. Which is after season Henry Cav- four, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. Um. So there was people around me, and I didn't feel comfortable watching a rated R that showed a lot. Yeah. You should have just embraced it, man. Yeah, I would have. So I stopped Give that. Give him a show. Then I started watching Yu-Gi-Oh! The old... <laughs> hey, it's my comfort show. Is that your comfort show? It's one of them, yeah. Um, so I was just watching it. I don't care. I'm like I was nerding out. Oh. You know, a little nostalgia. So... Let's talk about what we watched in Mexico <laughs> yeah. in that one channel. There were English. a couple of English channels. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit about the trip. Uh, yeah, I watched a lot of SWAT. Yeah, Castle was on. Criminal Minds. Castle it was, was like on Ion on. here. Have you ever watched the Ion yeah. Yeah. channel? Yeah. It was like that. Uh, it was like Psych. action channel. Yeah. yeah Monk. All those crime shows. Yeah. So that's yes, pretty I, much what I yeah. watched. And then yeah. I'd watch sports and like Sports <laughs> Center, but it was in Spanish. Yeah. But I'd just watch it. Yeah. Good then like CNN, I didn't want to watch that on vacation, you know yeah. what I mean? <sighs> yeah, they had a few channels, you know, a few movie channels, but Ooh. I did watch also I caught Venom in English and okay. I caught um um Blood Diamond. <coughs> yeah, I, see I was watching Blood Diamond. We watched a lot of keeping Great up movie. with the Kardashians. No, too. I saw it a couple times, but I can't do it, man. It's a terrible show. I can't do it. It's, it's so, so bad. Yeah. Um, we went to Mayan Ruins. Yep. 
and uh, they were a tiny little people. Yeah. It's weird to think about it like that. Like Going to Mexico, since I, I was going to do a, a what did you watch later, but I'll just talk about it now since you brought that up. I watched, uh, Sunday night I watched Apoc- Apocalypto. Yeah. Because that's like where we were at. Yeah. Kind Basically. Of. Same area. Yeah. Um, and I don't think I'd ever seen the full movie. I had definitely seen the ending scene. Yeah. But I don't, I'm pretty sure I had never seen the full thing. Oh, wow. Good movie. That shit is intense. Yeah, it's a good movie. (laughs) He's hiding in the the pit and like all all that stuff. They make him run away and they shoot the arrows at him. Yeah, that, uh, Have you seen that shit? Yeah. Not for a few years, though. It's all in, I'd imagine, Mayan. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how accurate everything is. And the end is kind of gut-wrenching, gut-wrenching as well. Yeah. Because, you know, but... Yeah. Which was talked about on our tour. Yeah. And Spanish. Um, the way they built that stuff, like, you know, like lines up with the sun yeah. and like the oh, yeah. moon that's and crazy yeah. aliens it's all it's all based on number like it's it's, it's, ma- it's all based on math yeah so it's aliens i don't think so there was a great restart i mean i don't think so the, that was everybody's job like now every day you get up and you go to work and do your job yeah back then you woke up you went and built stuff you built stuff all right, I you're probably right. Like, but think of it like this: think about how shitty your job is. You're the guy who has to get your, the top of the temple to line up with the sun on the summer equinox. You have one chance a year to figure out where you're going to build this thing. Yeah, you know, like that, that's it. <laughs> yeah, you have to have good memory. Something aliens. <laughs> I mean, I'm not against the alien idea because there's a little yeah. evidence, but I didn't see evidence of aliens. The same day we went to a cenote. Yeah. Pretty uh, weird experience. It is eerie down The vibes in, are weird yeah. in a cenote. Is it Sino or cenote? I th- they say cenote down there. I mean, I feel better saying cenote. Yeah. That's what, that's that's what I say. Yeah. Okay. But it was nice. I oh, you know. The water was so cold. Very yeah, but warm. Black, it was like so hot water. outside that it yeah. was fine. I was so scared to touch the bottom. It was we, so slimy. Man, we, how weird were the social influencers? Bro. Oh. I wanted to push that chick in. <laughs> it was just crazy just watching them. They were dead inside. Yeah. No emotion was on their faces. Yeah. So we saw a few people, but we're mainly talking about this one couple we saw. The boyfriend, she was standing on the pier to get into the cenote. She wasn't even getting posing. in because she didn't have a life jacket. She was yeah. just there for the pictures. Just for the pictures. And it's a, it was a photo shoot. And they both weren't talking. They weren't showing any emotion on their faces. Yeah, they were robots. Just fucking sitting there taking pictures. It was weird. Yeah. Thirst trapping, bro. I Well... Yeah, it's all for the likes. That being said, I probably would have hit the like. Great ass. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Haven't seen it pop up anywhere though. So, I did see uh, a picture on Instagram from the same cenote. Really? Yeah. I wanted. I I wanted so bad somehow for like her picture to pop and like me, my face be at the corner, like in the in the. <laughs> Just floating above Yeah, water. Shaman and I probably looked like super creepers because we were at the top <laughs> of the stairs. And we were genuinely looking at Corey, but he had they were like perfectly in like line. Right in line. So yeah. it looked like we were staring at them. And <laughs> it's just me and Shaman standing up top <laughs> laughing. I went the long way. I didn't want to get out. Yeah, well, I felt I good. get it. I get it. Uh, we went snorkeling. Yeah, which is also scary. Oh, it it might be one of the scariest things I've ever done. When Not, the danger is below you. Yeah. That is that's a scary feeling. You have like no control in the environment. Yeah. We're not supposed to be out there. People aren't supposed to be out I there. I didn't realize that Koi had such a big thing with boats. 
Corey did not handle the boat the best. And yeah, did, uh, I guess he said. Other people on the boat. I explained it a billion times. Yeah. My wife hates me. I, every time, I'm like, look, I don't do well on these boats. I get seasick. Your and wife was just throwing them back. Every and you're trip. Just over there, uh. She books a boat trip. And I'm like, she's like, you don't have to come. I'm like, yeah. And then you die at sea. <laughs> and I feel horrible for the rest of my life. Because I wasn't there to save But you. the end result was worth it. Oh, yeah. Once yeah, I, th- was- That's why. That's also another reason why I do it. Because, like, want, okay, I'm scared to be on, in the ocean. Yeah. And I don't do well on boats. But I do it anyway because... It's that fun, like, and yeah. that, like, thrilling, really, like. It it was, like, I've seen it on TV and stuff, obviously, but the, we went to two different spots, and the first spot. Reef. Ba- reefs. Coral reefs, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the first spot, everyone kind of jumped in, like you're supposed to, but I was scared to jump in, so I sat down and slid in. Uh, so I didn't go all the way under when I got in, so then I got all adjusted and then I put my head down and I like audibly said like, oh my God, mm-hmm. because it just was like something I've never seen before. It was wild. It was cool. And then the second time we, the second reef we got dropped off at, we, they dumped us into a school of fish. Yeah. That was fucking scary. Yeah. I, got I did bar- not care for that. I saw a barracuda. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, those things you asked me about that look like, uh, I forget what you said they look like. They're artificial reefs. They dump them so oh, it helps not... them build stuff. Yeah. I was going to tell you in the water, but I was too busy trying to survive. The, the green things? Yeah. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah. Not the bucket thing. The upside down bell look, or the bell looking things. Oh, okay. Not I don't the know buckets. The, those bucket things might be au natural. Yeah, I think I they hope, were. Okay, that makes me feel yeah. better. But the things cool. that look like a... <laughs> like yeah. a Hershey Kiss kind of... Or yeah. like, you Octagon know. almost. Yeah, so Rubik's cube almost. Yeah, yeah, it was cool, man. It makes it. Start, I started thinking about like the Great Barrier Reef <laughs> in Australia, but I'm pretty sure that's like super or p- relatively deep into the ocean. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, yeah, and, it's a few miles long, so. Well, yeah, and so it's got to be at least. A few we weren't miles that out. far off the coast. No, which made me feel so much better. Yeah. I've been before snorkeling, and you, I was out there. Like, no, we were out like there, out there. Well, we went out the there, coast. and then came back because yeah. we were supposed to be fishing, and then no one was handling it all that well. We were out in the middle of the ocean on a tiny little boat. Yeah, the fishing part sucked. <laughs> I'm gonna be. We honest. didn't catch any fish. Nope. We had 18 lines in the water. Yeah, like he was like two more hours, and freaking three of us are like <laughs> Alex's dying. wife <laughs> is getting sick, and yeah. <laughs> Like, we have to go now. <laughs> it did feel better. And then, Mexican McDonald's. Oh, my God. It hit. But I, I did. I had the McUSA. <laughs> yeah. They market those sandwiches for hey. guys like me and Alex. It was like two quarter pounder patties. You could be on the McUSA commercial. I could. Like, in Mexico. <laughs> I could. It was two quarter pounder patties, barbecue sauce, onions, and bacon. Yeah, it was the real deal. Yeah. So they're like, "What do Americans yeah. like yeah. that we can put on this sandwich?" Yeah, it was great. And then after having that day of pure exhaustion, man. Yeah, I got the quarter pounder, but the pollo McCrispy sounded. The pollo good. McCrispy was pretty good too. I had a bite <laughs> of that. Um, it was that's the one thing too that I didn't love was the food. And it's not. Yeah. I'm not saying it was bad, but it was different because it doesn't have all the bullshit at, that our food has, mm-hmm. which is good. But you're just not used to it, yeah. so the stuff well, tasted a little the, different. The meat. So I learned this while we were actually down there. Um, the meat. The Mexico is the fourth largest uh, um, purchaser of USDA rejected meat. So we were probably getting a lot of the rejected meat, you huh. know, because they had yeah. they had to save money somewhere for resorts like that. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, resort food is resort food, depending on how yeah. much. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, did. obviously, you can get pay and get something, go yeah. to a place very nice, and that the food will be better. But it was fine. Like, it was doable. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't hungry. Right, yeah. right. We went on a taco tour. Yeah, with so we get there, right? 
<laughs> we get on the taco tour. We meet up with our tour guide, Max. Who's from France. Who is French. How's that? Yeah. <sighs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Coolest but, uh, guy I've ever met. <laughs> Alex had a great time. The taco tour was fucking awesome. He smoked like 50 cigarettes like a Frenchman does. Yeah. And uh, we went to like super authentic uh, rest, like restaurants and taco stands and street carts and just ate tacos all night. Yeah. Ended up at a hostel. We ended up at a hostel. Shots. It was yeah. great. Loved it. Vibes were atrociously awkward. It was, and I loved it. It was weird. <laughs> yeah, Coy was not having that tequila shot. <laughs> well, we couldn't all take the tequila shot. Alex was like, I'll take it. I took two of them. <laughs> yeah. But- <laughs> <laughs> Alex was full send. <laughs> it, it creeped me out. He that, had no hesitation. It creeped me out that uh, the tour guide went behind the bar and poured the shot. Bro, he he was lives like, there. Yeah, he was like, let's go to my favorite bar. And I was like, okay, bar, bar. Not a hostel. There were women yeah. with the... Are they tar- tarot, tarot cards? cards. Ta- yeah. Like, yeah. Right when you walk and in, a cat. they're sitting there. Yeah. A the pool. guy passed out But I just couch. had visions of us uh, waking up in an alley it. with our pockets empty. It, I, it, so it, that's it why I didn't feel, take the shot of tequila. It made me feel like a traveler. Yeah. Loved it. It was fun. I mean, it was nice. Yeah. But... We saw a toot. Yeah. A prostitute. <laughs> yeah. Relatively priced. I mean, I don't know what to compare it to, but yeah, it didn't seem. No, he didn't have like the guy who was doing it didn't have like a huge stack of money. But he got two. He got two hours because he could. (laughs) We were definitely eavesdropping. Yeah, we heard that. Would you have done it if we had to pay for it? No. No. What? (laughs) No, bro. Not in Mexico. I mean, (laughs) no. She was pretty good looking. Yeah, she was considering. Yeah. But, you know, probably not. Uh, what about, like, shit. Vegas? An escort or a prostitute? Oh, that, you're like just, a that's just difference. semantics. I feel like there's a big difference. Th- there's I semantics. think I'd rather do it in Mexico. I think. <laughs> like, if I had to pick between Vegas and Mexico, it's more, more exciting. <laughs> You're not getting fucking Susie. And from you can get Winnipeg. anything over the counter in Mexico. So oh, bro, get, yeah, dude. <laughs> just get the penicillin and you're fine. What was even weird is like on the way back, they didn't check. I mean, you had to go through the checks and stuff, yeah. but they really didn't check you. Yeah. Like, you walked no, through a metal. TSA. <laughs> yeah, there's some dicks, man. God damn. There was how many people just standing around? <laughs> I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about them personally. <laughs> Not a happy soul in the yeah. bunch. But there was, was like 15 yeah. of them just standing around while one person's checking shit. I'm like, y'all could speed this up. Yeah, but... No, fuck us. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, we got searched in Mexico and it felt friendlier than that. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> and we got... All, all of us got our bags searched and opened. Yeah, like ran- fully searched. Random. Yeah. 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 <laughs> They're like, these motherfuckers yeah. definitely got something. Who's, who smuggles stuff into Mexico? Exactly. That's what I was thinking. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like catch us on the way out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's weird. I just gives that that aura around me of nervousness. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, well, my wife and I got separated. Going oh, down yeah. at the very beginning. The very beginning. Yeah, that was funny. If that had been Alex, oh yeah, yeah, your wife is way more competent than you are. Yes, it's so it's so beyond clear now. <laughs> the, she was, Alex would have caught off the whole trip. I would have left. <laughs> I've been gone. Not ideal. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Mexico is cool. It was hot. It was hot, but wasn't overly hot. Like I, I found, like our our trip to Myrtle Beach was hotter. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I don't know. I wasn't there, but I could. I mean, yeah, I, I might agree with him. Wow, there was an ocean breeze. We didn't have as much of an ocean breeze in Myrtle. Yeah, I think that helped a lot. Went to Cozumel. Yeah, Cozumel was cool. I was trying to think of the, the fucking name of that yesterday. I couldn't fucking think of it. The um, ferry ride was not. There were those ideal. those Coty uh, monkeys, raccoons. Is that oh, what yeah. they're called? Yeah, code C O A T Y. Bro, they were some little assholes. Man. I liked them. They were like funny. robbing people. Yeah, they stealing were stealing people's bags. I yeah. saw one drinking a strawberry daiquiri. Well, yeah, they just be full blown in a freaking like alcoholic drink, and you know they fucking already sloshed. Yeah, monkeys everywhere. 
It was kind of cool, though. Yeah, it was. Well. Let's talk about one thing I did not care for. The yeah. ferry ride from Cosimo back. Drunk Other oh, people? Yeah. Those people on that boat are the reason people hate Americans. Yep. They're like... 100%. Yeah, it was like a group of Like, eight. I was getting pissed off. Like, like, like oh, Shaman's pissed off. <laughs> Shit, Shaman right. never gets Shaman pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> Even I was pissed <laughs> off. No, like, they were just being rude and, I mean. They were singing. Yeah. Standing up on the ferry. It's like everyone's tired. Everyone's drunk or hungover. Yeah. We're all sunburnt. They were real drunk. Somebody it got was engaged. miserable. On the boat? No, at, while they were on the island. Oh. That was one of the first things they said. Yeah. It was miserable. They were like from Arkansas. <laughs> we don't know that. I no, think we made that we're up. We're making an assumption. <laughs> what? There was a big group of guys, too. So, I I, I, I mean, I wasn't going to say anything regardless. I was just going to give them a disappointed look. But I guess you got to pick your battles. Everyone but had a goatee. Security was surrounding them pretty good. Yeah, but. I mean, there there were only security is like four two. girls. <laughs> yeah, those cops. No, those cops carry the, heat. The, the Mexican police force looks so fucking cool. Carry heat. Bro, God they, they, damn, they look cool. Yeah, they ride around the back of pickup trucks and stuff. Just standing. They got like turrets. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. my god, it's so cool. They wear like the bandana masks too. So, oh, because well, you know who they got to deal with. Right. Yep. Right. Yeah. Right. Hey. I wanted to ask our taxi drivers about the cartel so fucking bad, but you know who you, <laughs> you, were, you asked them about Burger King. Why I didn't did. you just you, you should have you should have asked the uh, guy on the resort that Martin. Martin yeah. was my buddy. That's who you should ask <laughs> about the cartel. Yeah, absolutely right. I loved Martin. I was so disappointed I didn't get to see him the last couple Rock days. Fresh Jays, fresh Jays with the neck tat. Yeah, and the high socks. And the high socks. Yeah, he was cool. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Called everyone Familia. Great guy. Yeah. Um, so knowing what you know about Mexico now, would you rather move to like northern Canada or Mexico? Mexico. Mexico. Really? Yeah. yeah. Now, I used to say, and I still like one of my dr- places I'd very much like to live is like Cape Cod. Mm-hmm. But the older I get, the more I realize I fucking hate the winter. Um, See, I didn't know how well you were thriving in the heat down there. I, I don't necessarily think I was thriving. See, the eighties, I'm I'm okay with like low eighties, kind of where it was around. I'm okay with like I, I sweat, but I'm I'm still doable. I can still go out and do things. Once it yeah. hits like high eighties, nineties, I'm done. Fuck that. Like on the beach there, I'd be when we went to the ruins. When we were more so on the ruins, it was hot as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, because you're not There's getting no that breeze. Shade, yeah. No shade, no breeze, because we're yeah. up on a ledge. Yeah. So well, realistically, you're not going to be on the beach all the time. It's true. So, so. I mean, but even northern down, Canada. But even yeah. down in the like the uh, t- like the, what town. the Yukon. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, just, I don't think I'd do that. Give me a nice. Do you think you could learn Spanish? Yeah. Really? I think so. Well enough. Uh, I'd like to. I think mean, so. Max learned it, so yeah. But it's every close. single person that's not an American l- can learn multiple languages. Like it's nothing. It seems like well, French and Spanish. French and are Spanish similar. are like the same. They're not like the same. They're, but they're, the, they're, they're a Latin language, right? Right. So it can't be that hard. But I could do tours, man. Oh, dude! Do you know how much people would pay for a white tour guide? Corey, as crazy as that. Yeah, yeah. it's Th- there'd be a wait list for Corey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd have a different name down there. Would you? Like people, would, all the Mexican people would call me something else. But then, what do you think you would want? <laughs> I don't know. Something that sounds El Blanco Gato. Well, I mean, the white cat. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't I know. If that's I need how you a. Say I it. need a new uh, Call of Duty kill tag to like. That's true. I, I want it to be one word. One word. Has to be cool. Yeah. What about prehistoric? I mean, even though yours isn't one word. Uh, Mine is sort of one word. Kind of. But it's I won't not. bore you all with that. Um, I miss but, video games. Yeah, that was the the things I missed. Um, high fructose corn syrup. Oh, yeah. Man, oh, man. Pop soda just tastes different. Yeah. Um, which, I mean, it's 
probably for the better for your health. But yeah, uh, but yeah, those sprites were hitting when I got home. <laughs> what was the first thing you got food wise when you Chick-fil-A. got back to America? Yeah, Chick- spicy chicken sandwich from Chick Fil A. You got a spicy chicken. Sandwich. I got two spicy chicken <laughs> sandwiches from Chick Fil A. <laughs> you gotta call that out. Oh, for for not honest, what are we? You know, I got uh, number one from Arby's. Okay. What's that? The roast beef sandwich. Yeah. What curly is that The classic, the double, or the triple? Um, I got the classic, but I got um six piece mott stick as well. Oh, their mott sticks are better. Yes. Oh. What'd, you, what'd you get? I, I had Chinese food. What'd you get? Uh, General Tao's chicken, and you know some crab meat and cheese. I mean, I don't think it's that's how you say it, but I know General Tao's. I thought it was so. I think General so. Yeah. Spell Tao. We're in America, so. Oh, Jesus Christ. How's it spell? T A O Tao. No, it's T S O. Okay, well then I've been <laughs> <laughs> my entire fucking life. They're like, they answer the phone like General Tao guys on the phone. <laughs> they know you. Oops. <laughs> it's all right. Have we learn. We learn us. here. You know. That's what we're here for. Anybody else got in a... What did you watch? Is there anything? I watched this movie the other... Last night. Um, the uh, Europa. Uh, shit. Like Europe, but... It's the name of the moon of Jupiter. Jupiter. It's called the... Or it's not the... It's Europa Report. Isn't that the one they think can sustain life or something? To yeah. a point, yeah, because there's ice, it's covered in ice, so yeah. they think there's oceans under it because they can see that there's volcanic activity. So, to send a nuclear bomb, blow it up, yeah, create blow. heat, yep. It, no, there's already heat, that's the thing, it's just ice on top of the water. Well, you gotta crack the ice, so that's no, no there's fucking life in the ocean <laughs> under the <laughs> we ice. We didn't even watch the thing, we're telling him, <laughs> <laughs> no. So, it they, how far away is it? Too far, it's too far. It said it took them like two years to get there. That's not bad. Yeah, it isn't. Bad. I don't think that's accurate, though. But uh, it's about a crew that goes there looking for life because there's ice with oh, an it's, ocean it under. Huh? It's fake? Oh, yeah. I thought this was like a documentary. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn, man. I, I knew it was off. fake. What are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't know it was fake. I thought it was like a... Because he said two years. I'm like, it takes like 16 months just to go to the freaking Mars. Well, I thought I thought something happened that I didn't know about. No, no, no. Damn, no. I was all hyped thinking we were safe. No, no. Doom but, is upon us. No, go ahead. But it's one of those like movies where people just kind of get picked off one at a time. That's cool. Um, and then, you know, they get to the thing, the moon, and more stuff happens. I'm not going to spoil <laughs> it. Um, but, yeah. Is it's it pretty, new? It's, it's, is it new? 2014, I think. Eh, so probably, it's probably it, not a good it movie. It seemed like a very low-budget movie also because... So, you know, like... Sounds like you're describing a bad movie to me. It's kind of a bad movie because, like, when <laughs> when, you, when you're when you in space, you you see them get, like, how to make gravity, you have to use the centripetal force. Look at you. Um, to go in the re- reverse yeah. direction. That's how you make the gravity. Yeah. So they use that excuse a lot, which I don't even know if that's super possible. Uh, it's possible, but we don't have the... Uh, I was watching a show that explained how we don't have the capability of having it continue we can do it for a short period of time but to have it keep doing it is beyond our technology at the time obviously it's extremely hard to show people floating in no Mm -hmm. gravity so they would either show scenes when they're in the the pods that were spinning or they would be strapped into their seats. Mm-hmm. And it was really stupid because they would just lift their arms up like halfway, <laughs> like like mummy walking. Yeah. And you could tell it's just them sticking their fucking arms <laughs> out, you know? It's like, now oh my I have God, to watch. try stop. a little harder. Now yeah. I have to watch. I'm it's look it's really cringy. Um, but for what I guess they had, it was a pretty good movie. It's kind of a found footage type movie, like Apollo 18, I could compare it to. Uh, it's alright. Only like... There's only like... Seven characters in the movie. It's alright. Cool. Yeah. Um, Anything else, Shaman? No, I watched Gladiator. 
It's a good movie. Mm-hmm. Marcus. I don't know his full name. My Aurelius? wife. Aurelius. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. It's Ma- is it Maximus. Maximus. Yeah. yeah. Um, my wife tried to get me to watch the Lindsay Lohan Christmas movie. Oh, no. I watched a little bit of that. It's no. bad, It's bad, real bad. bad. So bad that I need to watch it because, like, bad thing. Like, it's so bad that it's going to be good. It's bad. <laughs> what's, it, <laughs> yeah. what's it on? Netflix. Yeah. Check it out. It's, it's She's also been watching the Casey Anthony documentary, and I can't do it. Yeah. I don't understand the point of that. Why does she get a documentary? She makes herself out to be a victim. Of what? <clears throat> like, pre- like judgment of the yeah, media? Yeah, I guess, yeah. I mean, I only caught parts of it because I refuse. She killed her daughter. See, I was just going to ask you what's your point. I agree with you. Wait, what the fuck? I do too, but... But 100% she got away with it. Yeah. It's wild. This this documentary, I guess, is get, was she supposed to make you like. No, like, I get probably why. Supposed to be like maybe she didn't. You know what I mean? Well, fuck like, that. I know, but it's crazy. No, no reason why she should have got it off. It's like, crazy. Yeah. she's from Ohio, man. Is she? I didn't yeah. know that. Yep. And uh, no. there's a lot of pictures of her when it was happening, in, like Ohio State hoodies and stuff. Um. <sighs> Giving us a bad, worse and somebody name. I went to high school with is wanted for saw that murder. Saw so. that. That's crazy. Oh man! Oh man! Um. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you would leave a big dent? <laughs> but I would total a fucking car, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> you can... oh, bro, God. cars. If I'm. St- if you do not see my big ass crossing the street, they might just hit your legs though, and like you'll flip up on I the mean, hood. if I see a car and I cannot get out of the way, that's what I'm going for. I'm going for the window. <laughs> You're that's a coffin your... drop on them. You know what well, I'm talking no, about? That's how stunt uh, people do it. Like how they get hit by cars. They jump up and aim for their shoulder for the window. <clears throat> so you just roll off. You might have a fucked up you arm. You'd go right but... through the window. Eh, You'd be in the prob- front seat. Probably. <laughs> You ever broke a window? Oh, yeah. Oh, what yeah. kind of window? Like a car know. window? Kind of car window. window. I've hit a deer, House window. But... Yeah. Yeah, I broke windows. Okay, weird. Uh, <laughs> weird tangent. <laughs> weird question there. Al, where are you going with that? I was just thinking. All right, well, until next episode when we talk more broken windows. <laughs> Stay safe. Bro, that tarantula just came out of nowhere.